Hello there, welcome. This is Asparagus Anonymous, uh, looking at the Barry M. Harry Potter recent uh, collaboration available at Platform 9 and 3 quarters, which is the UK st shop for Harry Potter things. Here we're just having a look at Gryffindor colour. So this is a, quite a rich burgundy. It's got all the different houses on the front. The, it's fine. The one thing I have noticed about these is that they don't have Barry M's logo on them, which I think is a little bit strange. Regardless, you can see how it goes on here. I would say this is to be a two-coater. Unfortunately, I couldn't swatch this on my own nails just because I was a little bit shaky. So um, I'll have to deal with just a swatch nail. You can sort of see the opacity there or what would be a nail line on the sticker that I've, that I've popped in the middle there to keep it on. We're now seeing the second coat and um, I would say, yeah, two-coat opacity. It was a lot better than... Um, I thought it would. These don't really go on like the nail paints from Barry M. They go on like the Jelly High Shine polishes, um, which are a bit glossier, a bit thicker, a bit nicer. Um, so yeah, I was pretty impressed with that. It's it's, it's a Gryffindor colour. I think it matches pretty well. And uh, yeah. Next we have Hufflepuff. And this is just your sort of mustardy yellow kind of colour. I haven't got anything like this in my collection at the moment, so I wasn't too worried about it. It's quite nice, quite autumnal. Actually, all of these colours could be considered fairly autumnal, apart from maybe the blue. Same again, we're looking here, and I was quite impressed with this coverage, considering it is a... Oh god, look at that fluff. <laughs> considering it is a yellow. Yellows are notoriously difficult to make uh, opaque. They, they just seem to be. I mean, have a look at your own collections. You'll find that the yellows are the ones that, you sh that always struggle most. So the first coat was okay, but again, I would say a two coat for full opacity on this one. It dried to a pretty glossy finish, and this is where I'm thinking it's more like the Jelly High Shine polishes, and it's a little bit lighter than you see in the bottle, same as the Gryffindor was. Ravenclaw up next, and that's my house. <laughs> I always fall into the Ravenclaw with just a hint of Slytherin, uh, which doesn't sound like a tasty soup. But uh, anyway, here we are looking at it in the bottle. It's a lovely deep, deep blue. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's... It's a royal blue, effectively, isn't it? It's one of those, the pen is blue. The pen is blue! For anyone who's seen Liar Liar, it's one of those kind of colours. Um, oh, God, the fluff again. I'm so sorry about these little bits of fluff. I've recently moved and there's just fluff everywhere from where I packed my cotton pads, cotton pads in with these things. But another one that's two coat opacity. I was quite impressed with it as well. Um, they're all, I mean, the formula's nice. Barry M is an excellent formula. Um, so I, I don't have much to really say about these. Uh, really nice. It's the perfect Ravenclaw colour. Boom. And then we have Slytherin. I was quite worried about Slytherin because this, to me, looks more like an inky kind of green, whereas Slytherin I always saw is quite like a like a regent green or a... Um, yeah, even here, it just looked really, really dark to me. Um, I was pleasantly surprised, and as you'll see... When we put it on, it's it's very thin. It's very, very thin. Um, so I do believe I had to take this one up to three coats for what I would consider full opacity. That's the second coat going on there, uh, I think. <laughs> Can't even tell from my own video. But yeah, I mean, it's still, it's still quite blue for Slytherin, in my opinion. But I mean, it's green. So, you know... Can't can't do much about that. Uh, can't say much about that. It's green and Slytherin is green. I, I don't know. I just always imagined it being a bit more of a an emerald green. That's the color. That's the name I'm looking for. Like an emerald green. Whereas this is bordering on teal. But there it is against the bottle. It's quite true to the bottle when you see it in light. But uh, I was pleasantly surprised it wasn't as dark as the bottle seemed. Then we move on to the two other ones that are inspired by Luna Lovegood. This is a diadem. Uh, I don't know if I've pronounced that correctly, but there we go. So it's sort of like a, a sheer, shimmery... Uh, it's not duochrome, it's sort of iridescent, I guess. Um, it just sort of shifts from a, a peachy colour and it's got sort of a blue sheen to it, as you can see here. So... Um, don't expect this to be able to get full coverage. I actually um, filmed in low light and highlight for each of the 
um, coats that I did just so you could see the difference there and it's quite cool um, I do have another thing to say about this but I uh, we'll get to it we'll get to it but there's the second coat and again it looks a lot more opalescent in lower lights um, and it's just got a nice little sheen but be aware that it is sheer and you will have a visible nail line unless you put some sort of base coat underneath that that like a nude that that covers that for you um that's three coats that's about as full as opacity you're gonna get i think people who don't have a very strong nail line that will be fine for that will give complete full opacity but for those of us who have a bit of a, a, a more stronger nail line, it'll be harder. And here we have Moon. So Moon is a purple with uh, that sort of blue shimmer. It's not quite the same shimmer as is in Diadem. It's pretty though, it's very pretty. And we're here. I think this was another one. I think I only took this one to two coats actually because I tried adding a third on a separate one and um, it didn't do anything. Didn't it didn't really change the opacity. So here we see it in highlight and low light, and uh, yeah, it's really pretty. Um, it's just it's just a really pretty color. You don't see many nail polishes sort of like this. I suppose the closest would be the. OPI Hidden Prism. I mean, there is one that's a lot closer, like really, I mean, yeah, like really close, but you will have to wait until a little bit later on in the video to see that. So here's the second coat, and that's what I would consider full opacity for this. Again, visible nail line will be, um, will be there, unless you put some sort of base coat underneath. Now here's the thing. I thought these colours looked familiar, and I happen to have most of the Barry M under the C collection. And I compared Diadem to Angelfish, and you can see here, they're the same colour. The only thing that I would say is that it looks like there's slightly, and this is the same here, this is, this is Moon and Jellyfish from the Under the Sea collection. It's exactly the same, but same as the other one. You can, on the right, with the undersea one, you can see that there's slightly, it looks like there's slightly larger sparkly chunks of blue. But I can assure you, when it goes on, they look identical. Um, they look exactly identical. And I thought that was a bit pants, if I'm honest. Uh, here's the Deathly Hallows. Now, this is marketed as a matte finish. Um, it's got a cool bottle. It's dark. I thought it'd be quite opaque, if I'm honest. And um, and I was a bit disappointed. Uh, I really was. Um, I just decided, you know what, I'll just put it over the last one I did. <laughs> it's a black. But as you can see there, it, it's not very opaque. Um, I mean, yeah, if you tilt it away from the light, it will be. But there, you can see, you can see right through it. It's transparent in the first coat, which I was a bit like, oh, all right. Um, come to the second coat, and yeah, I'd say that's probably your full coverage coat. Again, I was a little bit disappointed, though. And I waited for it to dry, and I waited and waited and waited, and... This is all I got. It's shiny. It's not matte. So, I mean, what? Should you buy it? I don't know. I wouldn't buy it again, but I did. Probably shouldn't have, now that I think about it. But I'd rather I buy it, I guess. Would I rather that? Yeah, I suppose. If me buying it and showing you can alleviate maybe some of you purchasing a dupe that you might already have in your collection. Uh, I don't think it's worth it for the prettier bottles. I think the colours are pretty lacklustre in general. Um, it's just a burgundy, a green, a low coverage green at that, uh, a royal blue and a, and a yellow. I, th I think the Hufflepuff actually impressed me most, to be honest. I'd probably have more fun making my own Harry Potter. In fact, do you know what? In fact, if if that would be interesting, I've got glitters and flakes and other polishes that I could all mix together and um, and play around with these to see what, what would be my take on the Har on a Harry Potter-themed sort of collection. I can't do anything with Deathly Hallows. I mean, apart from put a matte top coat over what's supposed to be a matte nail polish. Come on. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, if you're intrigued to see me play around with these and try and zhuzh them up a bit, then um, and maybe do some nail art with them, then let me know. Drop a like. Drop a like. Pop. <laughs> Drop a comment. 
pop a like on the video and uh and we'll see and maybe i'll come back with a, a bit more fun less disappointed less bleh <laughs> kind of review okay right well goodbye